hello 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 and welcome to my kingdom so i just like uh what's up it's what time now it's 3 a.m and it's a youth day and happy youth day to the youth i think i'm still a youth too yeah right all right so i just feel this burden in my heart just to record this and i had to record it as in like right now and um I'm just thinking like God is the one who has our lives in his hands like if he is to switch off is to switch you off because it's as easy as that like at the snap of the finger you're gone where would you go this is not to make somebody be fearful or trying to be too holy but this is just to live your daily life thing feeling like today might be my last day because anything can happen i feel like someone needs to hear this you know we tend to live our lives planning for tomorrow planning for next week planning for our birthday planning for christmas holidays but we don't even know if we will be there in that day we don't even know if next week will be here we don't even know if next month next uh, couple of months next half a year uh, half of the year next year we don't even know but we are already making plans which is there's nothing wrong with that but i just want somebody live your life like it is your last day live your life like it is your last day if the lord is to switch you off at this minute where would you end up like hell is so real like oh my goodness hell is so real not this garbage that we grew up being told that if you're living if you are suffering that's hell if you are financially okay like in your household you guys have it have everything that's your heaven because that is not that is not and this is not to say that we are or personally i'm holier than thou but we have to live a life that pleases god and thinking that if he's to come right at this moment as i'm speaking to you think of where would i go because oh my goodness hell is so real and if you haven't had an encounter with such things i would ask that you pray and um ask the lord to show you he is real and so is hell um holding grudges being bitter and you know even the bible say we must not be angry until the sun goes down you know don't be angry until it goes like making something so small to be like oh lord it's now table mountain just forgive let it go and it's hard to forgive i know very well forgiving it is super hard but you have to ask the holy spirit you cannot do it on your own because the devil doesn't want that the devil wants to keep you telling you oh honey you were right it's your right to be mad you are you are you are right she was wrong you are right he is wrong but at the same time he's luring you to stay with him and god forbid should you get switched off right at this moment trust me you going where he is gonna go in the lake of fire at the end of the day with him so this video i just had to record it like <clears throat> to say excuse me to say live every day thinking if god is to switch me off right at this moment where would i go put pride aside don't think you're better than everyone else where you're walking or speaking to people belittling people looking down on people because anytime you can get switched off death is imminent hell is real heaven is real so i just had to pass this to somebody who thinks like they're above the world um maybe you made you think you are right it's your right to be made but don't let it go 
beyond. It's okay to fall short. It's okay to make mistakes. But go back to God. Don't run away from God just because you've made a mistake. Run back to Him. Because He died for us. He was risen. He is alive. And He's sitting at the right hand of the Father. Pleading for us. Right? So... Don't think you are too messy to be um, to come back to God, and don't even feel guilty. Don't feel bad. Of course, repent. Realize that I've messed up, but I need God at this hour because if I am to die, if I am to get out of here, and something happens to me, whether I, it's, it's just a stray bullet just decided to choose you, God forbid, for whatever the reason. Um, you know that you will be sleeping. You're not gonna be dead. So this, yeah. So this is just really to speak to somebody. I don't know why I had to speak about this, but maybe you need to hear this. You're somebody you're just holding on things inside. They are not for you. You cannot have the Holy Spirit and be holding things in you. It's just, it's just not it. So, yeah, let me just love and leave you and continue with my praise and worship because, yeah, it is that hour where I'm spending time with the Lord and yeah, it is the 6, 9, 12, 3. It's the 4th. Um, it's actually the last watch of the night all right then i'm just gonna love and leave you bye bye